All right, let's talk about another company that's updating its fiscal guidance and is not in the plus column today, like at all. The opposite, the very far opposite. We're talking about Olaplex, and I'm saying that so dramatically because the shares are down like 40% here, <laughs> almost 50% after it slashed its sales forecast for the remainder of the year. Olaplex lowered its net sales guidance by nearly 13%, citing multiple issues, including macroeconomic pressures and increased competition. And just like my little data point that I told you guys about this morning, yeah. Olaplex, which is seen as this premium brand, as you all know, I'm a Rent the Runway customer. Sometimes you get samples and you rent the one way. And in my most, most recent shipment, there was a little Olaplex sample. And I thought, hmm, that's different. That's interesting. I didn't think Olaplex was a big sampling company. Maybe it is, and I just didn't know. But to me, it was sort of a signal of, hmm, they're trying to get new people to try their products. Um, anyway, there you see the updated guidance, which is quite a slash from where it was before. I just want to put this to, put this to Twitter and our viewers here, because look, clearly I, I'm losing my hair. I don't have a lot of hair. I, I could, I'm, I'm, I'm at terms with it. But there's concern, I think, amongst the people that use Olaplex, uh, if they can trust this product. If you use this product, are there things in it uh, that will make you lose your hair. Does it work the way it's supposed to? These are legitimate concerns. They originally, I believe, sprouted up over the summer, uh, yeah. appeared a lot on TikTok. And maybe this guy down is a reflection of these things starting to build, sales slowing down, retailers not ordering at the rate they were. So again, if you use their products, do you tweet at us? Because I'm curious if, if you have started to pull back because of these concerns. Well, we've seen a massive shift in the mindset of the consumer as well, moving towards more clean beauty trends or... or more organic beauty products that are out there. And just because something has organic slapped on it doesn't necessarily mean that it's rid of all of perhaps the bad things that also go into some beauty products, let's be frank. But this is starting to show up as well for Olaplex within these highlights that are at least the forecast here uh, that they're expecting. They're expecting by channel professional to decline 16%. Specialty retail, sure, that might increase approximately 60%, but direct to consumer, and this is what we've zeroed in on because this also gives you a little bit more of the inclination around what the customer thinks of your products. They're expecting that to decline by about 3% here going forward. I'll quickly add this too. Uh, when your stock declines almost 50% in a session, you don't get to keep your job. And I would not be surprised that if there's not a, a lot of management changes at this company over the next six months to a year. Just to be clear here, the, the reason that some of their four uh, products were pulled from the market before has nothing to do with concerns about losing your hair or anything like that. It had to do with an ingredient um, that is not permitted in the EU, mm -hmm. so they had to reformulate it. All of this stuff is anecdotal, right? We've personally talked to people who don't like the product for various reasons, or, or talked to a hairdresser who said people use it too much and overuse it, and that can cause issues for the hair. So, you know, there's some nuance here that I think we need to make sure that we... I ain't touching this stuff. Get. I got to keep what I have. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It speaks to the professional segment, yeah. though, that, that you're mentioning. I mean, yes. if, the, if the professional segment is not purchasing it and they're not recommending it, then there's a larger question of will consumers start to turn away from it as well, more long term. Head and shoulders for the win. Head and shoulders for the win. I mean, to be fair, I'm not sure you're the target demo, Brian Sazi. <laughs> no. no offense. I'm on TV. I have to use luxurious stuff. I mean, look at this gig. I mean, you got to keep the hair. You got to look nice and shiny. Yeah. Sure, sure.